certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, this scene has played out in many areas across the WLFI viewing area tonight. Fireworks displays, and this is uh, one of the displays. This was in downtown Lafayette. We were viewing these from our tower cam. That's where this uh, video came from. Very, very nice, and you know, just a perfect evening to reflect, reflect on what Independence Day is and how much our freedom means to us. So very, very nice night tonight. You couldn't ask for a better July 4th because, boy, we've had some rotten ones around here. I remember back in 2008, it rained most of the day, and it was a record cool high in the upper 60s. So today was a real treat. It's a real treat tonight as well, but I'm tracking the next system that will affect our viewing area. These are all warnings. Severe thunderstorm and even a tornado warning here lining up all the way down to Nebraska. We even have had some severe thunderstorm warnings in California tonight. And this storm system is moving to the northeast. Now, the good news is a lot of the strong wind dynamics that support organized severe weather like this will pass north of us. So even though the boundary will shift southward, it could bring a few thunderstorms by Wednesday, Thursday. The main wind fields for Boeing lines of storms, widespread severe weather, will stay north of the viewing area. So that's part of the focus tonight. You know, most of this week will be rather dry, certainly hot and humid. So a good week to get outside in the, around the lakes or certainly in the pool or in a water park. But a few scattered storms will pass through Wednesday, Thursday. Only 30% coverage before perhaps a little more widespread storm action arrives here on Monday. And those storms Monday will be on the periphery. But we have a really intense heat wave. And some of that heat is definitely going to move in here by next week. Comfortable tonight. Some patchy fog though. Mid 50s northeast to right around 60 Lafayette down towards Attica, 60 Fowler, and about 58 at Camden over towards Flora and also Delphi. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. A little stuffy outside, just a little humid, and it's certainly going to be hot. 87 Logansport, 88 Monticello, up towards Reynolds and Chalmers, Remington, 89 Lafayette, about 90 at Waveland and Vetersburg. But we're fine tomorrow. There's your high of 89. Notice there's nothing going on. There's your severe weather to the north. But remember where the uh, wind fields for organized severe weather are. They're north of us, and they're going to move into New England on Wednesday. So the front will be here on Wednesday. So just a few very widely scattered storms in the afternoon, a few more Thursday, then the front kind of washes out. 89 on Friday, still warm. But then as we get into Saturday, we're fine. We're fine Sunday, but getting hot. We're talking low 90s. And then right on the periphery of a really intense heat wave in the plains, you know, it's going to be 100, 102 degrees out towards Kansas City by Sunday. Right on the edge of that, I think we'll see a cluster of storms pivot right around it like a ring of fire here coming in from the north wrapping in that could bring some severe weather Monday and or Tuesday before that heat wave expands. We could be into the mid 90s, perhaps upper 90s in places next week. 60 some patchy fog tomorrow morning, 89 with a variable rather light wind in the afternoon. There's the seven day forecast 90 on Wednesday and Thursday. A few scattered storms not really concerned about a big severe weather threat right now. 89 Friday. Low 90s over the weekend, but storms. Some of those could be severe. We'll keep an eye on that Monday and Tuesday. And then, well, you know, once we get into next <laughs> week, the mid 90s, maybe 97, something like that. Very yeah. hot next week. All right. Good night to keep the windows up and the AC off. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Chad, thank you very sure. much. Sticking with the uh, American theme today.